Um, just come up here. Um, cycle jog step. Okay, you can. Actually, I've just forgot. You can come up here and just press on jog mode. You can do it by step or continuous. When you press the, the, the switches down here for X, Y, and Z, uh, it will continuously move or move in measured amount. Uh, I've actually got a pendant plugged into mine, so uh, I actually don't use this, but there it is if you wish to use it. Uh, and you press the tab key again to go back to the original screen. So the first job that we're going to do after downloading Mark 3 is to set up the laptop that it's running on so it does not uh, inhibit Mark 3 program when it's running. And that means altering the automatic settings within the laptop uh, so it doesn't shut it down or even put a, a screensaver up. And that's... Uh, done by going into the icon in the bottom corner here, the start icon, uh, then going on to control panel, um, clicking on appearance and personalization and display and adjust brightness near that. You need to ensure that high performance is uh, clicked here and the other two, power saving and, and balance, uh, are unchecked. So, but what I do as well, I go into them and I change these settings as you can see here. Um, oh, and incidentally, do not run a laptop with Mac 3 without it being connected directly to the mains power. You must have mains power connected at all times to your laptop. Never run a CNC machine on battery power with the laptop. So, um, what I do in relation to all these is, is bring up never, never, never. In other words, never go to sleep, never do anything, always work flat out. So that was okay. Um, this one, quite important. Again, never, never, never. And in this case, where it says whether it's in battery condition or not, uh, put the computer to sleep. I always put never. Always check this one, never. You, you have a option here of doing from a minute all the way up to five hours always select never and come out of that one and this one now this one is I, I've left unchecked purposely so you can see it uh, being altered uh, always make sure that it's full brightness uh, you know you don't want any plan whatsoever so you press Never, 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 and never, and save the settings. Even though it's unchecked, do it anyway. And I always, I always make sure that I got full brightness on the screen as well. Um, just as ha, I, I just do. Um, so really that's all you need to do to set a laptop up to run a CNC machine. And uh, come out of that now. And then you can open up your Mac 3 program. And off you go. So what you need to do first is download Mac 3 from Artsoft. Uh, it's a fairly easy process to do and you will ha uh, have a screen something like this. 
then you need to uh, enter the license code uh, into Mac 3 and um, you'll have a fully operating program. So open Mac 3 mil and there you have the uh, message here that uh, Mac 3 recognizes the motion control card and they are working now absolutely fine together. Every time you start Mark 3, this reset will be flashing red and this uh, emergency stop uh, prompt uh, will be uh, scrolling across the, the box there. Uh, so if you press it just once, Mark 3 will give you an alert sound that now Mark 3 is active with your machine. So the first thing you're going to want to do is change your native units. Now it will come up and say um, not to change it in this window but for the first time you start the, the, the program it's okay to do this because you haven't set Mac 3 up to your particular machine yet. That's what it's warning you of. If you change this when you've already set Mac 3 up you're going to have to go through all the motor tuning and everything again. So initially when you start Mac 3 program, this is the first thing you do and change it now. Mine's already set up. What we need to do now is set up the motor tuning. Um, I won't alter any of the figures on here because my machine is, I've already set it up. Um, but what you do, you go into config which is up here uh, and you choose motor tuning you're going to see some odd figures on here for the um, steps per because this is set up for servo motors okay so these in particular these need to be set at uh, 160 this is for servo motors not stepper motors um, 4000 point two three hundred that figure will automatically come in. You don't need to worry about that. Mac 3 will do that itself. Um, this is for the X and Y. The Z is different. This is why I wanted to bring this up and show you. Uh, for the Z with servo motors, it is 320. 1000.2, 300 leave that figure alone um, and after each time you put figures in here you must uh, press enter and select each axis that you wish to to alter and then press OK um, OK the next uh, thing we're going to do is we're going to make this each axis uh, very accurate. I'll just show you one axis, but it's just uh, repeat the. Um, so we just got settings, which will bring up this screen. Uh, come down here to the set steps per unit. That will bring this box up, and we want to. Um, you can set each individual axis. So we're going to do the X. So we press OK. Now this uh, window comes up and says, uh, how far do you want to move the X? Um, well, we're going to go... Let me see, how far are we going to move? I've got a rule on here somewhere. 227. So we're going to go 227 millimetres. So we've got 227 millimetres in that box. So I'll just show you now down at the machine. Okay, so we're set now on a line here that I've drawn um, and we should now go all the way right to that line. Uh, so we just press OK on that screen and it will automatically do it. Yeah, that we're a little bit out, so we're going to put that right right now. 
How many did it actually move? It actually moved 120 125, 6, 7. I actually might have put the wrong number there. So we're going to try that one again. In fact, I did. That is actually exactly right what I put in there. So we're going to. Okay, so we can go back now to the program run window. And then we're going to go back into config and we're going to do homing and limits. Now we've already uh, set the, uh, the, the home, the machine home. So now what we're going to do is, uh, I've already actually done it, but I'm just showing you where to go to do this for your particular m machine. Um, this is setting the soft limits. In other words, telling the Mac 3, how big the operating window of the table is. In other words, how far it can go. Um, so in our case with this machine, it's a 6012, so you put in the soft maximum here, 600 millimeters for the X, 1200 millimeters for the Y, and now this is the one that's a little strange. Uh, and it's minus 200 for the Z. So when the Z registers at the top of the stroke, this is set at minus 200 because the Z0 uh, it re re it's regarded as the Z0 for the Z is actually at the machine bed. So we put minus 200 up there. And we press OK. And uh, the configuration for, you, for your machine should be something like this. Press OK. OK, the next thing to do is when you have homed your machine, you need to turn your soft limits on and keep them on. That's what I do anyway. So now the machine is locked into that envelope and it will not go outside of that envelope. Uh, it's an electronic protection system that I always use and rely on a lot. Okay, there's a couple of other things now I'll show you in Mark 3, which is uh, really to do with the operation of Mark 3 and your machine, not the machine itself. Um, Excuse the barking dog. Okay. If you wish to pull out the built-in pendant within Mark III, press the tab key and the pendant will come out. Um, to alter the feed rate of the pendant, you can come up here and just press on jog mode. You can do it by step or continuous. When you press the, the, the switches down here for X, Y and Z, uh, it will continuously move or move in measured amount. Uh, I've actually got a pendant plugged into mine, so uh, I actually don't use this, but there it is if you wish to use it. Uh, and you press the tab key again to go back to the original screen. 